your your conspiracy theories and uh let's keep talking about that so real quick guys if you don't know i'm gonna let you in on on a little secret i well i to do a little call back to scar well i will shall never be king i saw the movie in uh encanto uh it's coming out in theaters i believe next uh week uh the week of uh of uh, thanksgiving maybe on the 29th or so and i got to see it yesterday i took the kids out uh since from the makers of moana frozen uh and whatnot and i gave my quick thoughts on it on on tiktok but i wanted to just just give you my little two minute little why you should see this movie i believe that that encanto just like coco is one of those movies that'll sneak up on you it's like you're if you're on the on the fence of of just being awesome get off the fence and be awesome and watch this movie this is i said uh, earlier that this movie was uh, like the epitome of a magical disney movie it it had everything i mean a little and i feel like it had a callback to a lot of the disney classics from lion king to the jungle book to frozen to toy story it had almost every if if there was a movie that was like the like give me the most campiest Disney tropius and put every Disney element that you can think of and throw it into a movie and make this the most magical thing you've ever saw in your life. Throw it into this movie. That's what this movie did. But they did it in a smart, fun, and and uh, sophisticated and entertaining, exciting way. All while showing the, uh, in my opinion, respect. And, I, and I'm not speaking for the uh, for the community because I'm not in the, the the Latin community. But I felt I'm, I'm gonna have to ask my Latin friends. I felt like they were doing it in a very respectful way. So the jury's out. Uh, I've got to ask my my friends after they see it what uh, what they thought about it. But I felt like I learned a lot. I felt like this was an endearing movie. It was. It reminded me of. And this is going to sound weird, but it reminds me of that joke that we always talk about with the Fast and Furious, how we always talk about it's all about the family. That's what this movie did. It, it, it stays focused on family. And if you know anything about uh, about my crazy family or if you have one of your own, you know that families, they call come in shapes and sizes. They, they have they have uh, you, you have that, that uncle that might be. Um, that might not always get invited to uh, every cookout because you never know what he's going to do. You have that that one family member that f- you feel like might be always th- thinks they're always p- better than everybody or perfect. Or you may have, maybe you have an insecure person. Maybe you have that the big mom in the house who's always keeping the family together. And it's it's got it all. It's got uh, every little every trope that you uh, think of in your family from the the good, the bad, and the ugly to and and that. Oh, how can I put this? It felt like a big giant, like a cookout. Like, like I felt like I was going to a family reunion. It was, a, it, it had this sense of community. It had it all in there, and I had a good time. I was smiling from ear to ear the whole time. My kids were uh, enjoying it, and I guess that's all. That's all I can say without spoiling it. Very magical, very beautiful. The uh, the animation was some of the best I've ever uh, seen. The only thing that I think I can criticize it on was that there was no let it go moment like that song the music was good but there was no maybe for me standout song like like i felt like with frozen or i felt like with moana there was no um there was no there was a song that was my favorite song but the, the but there was no song that stood out like the way those soundtracks did that's my only criticism of it but other than that go check it out i think it's coming to theaters on the 29th of november